So I'm uh, Giancarlo. I'm Felicia. And, and this is our review of Gloom. Gloom. The Adams family meets the Caltabiano family. In Gloom, players take control of eccentric families that believe the more they suffer in their current life, the better their afterlife will be. In the box you'll find 20 character cards, 58 modifier cards, 12 event cards, and 20 untimely death cards. Be the player with the most negative points for your deceased family members and you win. To set up, start by giving each player 5 character cards of the same family. Any unused family cards are put away in the box. Now shuffle the remaining cards and then deal out 5 cards to each player. Place the rest of the cards face down in the middle to form the draw pile. The first player is determined by the player who had the worst day. You're now ready to torment your family. On each of their turn, players can play up to or discard up to two cards. Let's get into the type of cards available. The most common cards are the modifier cards. These cards, played on characters, will give them a negative or positive value, denoted on the left side of the card. Some might have effects at the bottom of the card that will trigger or have permanent effects. Usually, the more negative points you have on these cards, the worse the gameplay text will affect you. Event cards are written in red and have some abilities that can be played on another player, such as cancelling another player's card just played. And lastly, untimely death cards are in grey and are used to kill off a character. These cards can never be played as their second card, unless otherwise noted, to minimize crazy combos. If successfully played on a character, Take the character card and all cards on it, and turn it face down. This character is considered dead and his point value is the total point modifiers you can see. You can too as an action discard a card to draw a card. At the end when a player did his two action he draws up to his maximum hand size and play passes to the player to his left. When a player killed off his entire family, every player puts aside all living characters as they're worth no points and everybody flips up their dead characters. The player with the least points wins. Gloom is simple, quirky, fun, and plays fast. It's a perfect bring anywhere type game and great to play in between heavier games at game night. Card stock is high quality and needs to be. Sure, it's a lot based on luck, but you can control some of it by discarding cards or even playing positive modifiers on your guys to benefit from their text effects. Don't forget that for players though, the chaotic nature of the game balances everyone out. We truly enjoyed the artwork, giving it that cute, macabre and gloomy feel, and the flavor text really adds to the whole gloom experience. This is an older game, and since then, many expansions came out. And best of all, it holds the test of time. Light, quick, and fun, and really well suited for gateway gamers, we give Gloom 8 Stabby Stabbies out of 10.